Hey everyone and welcome, in today's video we're gonna use Unreal Engine and Gaia to create realistic landscapes. We're gonna use Gaia to create high maps to create these environments inside of Unreal Engine. For those who doesn't know, Gaia has a free version and generates terrains procedurally, so we can work seamless with Unreal Engine landscape creation. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more content about CGI game development. So, let's dive in. That's the open screen of Gaia. Gaia already have a bunch of uh, a bunch of templates that you can work on. So there's mountains, canyons, craters, here is some so on. But in this case, I'm gonna start a project from scratch to really show how it can work with Gaia. So we just need to click in the blank project. By the way, this video is I'm gonna try to show you 20% uh, of the nodes and the configuration of Gaia that probably will make 80% of the job in create landscapes and you can create really fast landscapes in port to unreal the guy is has a pretty straightforward user interface you have the viewport uh here's gonna appear the the terrain that we're generating and you have the graph as where we're gonna create the terrain the two box it's the nodes uh, here's there's all the nodes that you can use to create your landscapes and the right to have the the properties parameters that each node has if you want to use a node and you start creating your landscape, you just need to drag and drop. In this case, I'm going to start with the primitives because they are easier to understand. They are more self-explanatory. In this case, mountains, rocky, grasslands, canyons. And I'm just going to drag and drop a mountain. You already have a mountain. Uh, by the way, the terrain by default in Gaia has 5 kilometers to 5 kilometers. So it's already pretty big terrain. And then we generate a mountain. If you see, because I'm clicking on the mountain, we also can press F to lock the view. Uh, you can see there is uh, some parameters here that you can change. For instance, you can change the scale. Also, you can create some different variations of the same mountain. Or if you don't like at all the mountain or most of the nodes, you can just click here and Gaia gonna create a new seed for you. You can like keep playing with that and you find some mountains that make sense. Also if you want to get back for the, the default node you just click here the left button and reset node to default. So we're gonna see the first mountain again. I believe this mountain is already pretty cool for the things that I want to do. This, uh, this raise button I always use with mountain because I can control how high the mountain is with this multiplier. So if I multiply the mountain it's going to be really big. I can also make the mountain smaller if I want. And we already have a mountain. Of course it's just the beginning. There is a lot of flat surface uh, where is the mountain is not applied that's not very realistic so let's change that so what if you want to use another node like this is one of the two primitives maybe some worse lands and I can combine both so how can you do that you just need to, to drag the same way you do with blueprints inside of Unreal and just use the node combine. So there is the multi combine that you can combine more than two nodes, but I'm gonna use just the combine. Uh, by the way, if you can't see any difference, just need to click F because I was the mountain was locked in view here, and you can see the worst lands and the, the mountain together. In this case, the combine has different parameters that you can use. Uh, the first one is the ratio. Other thing that you can do is change the method for blend to, for instance, max. And in this case, you can see the max of both two primitives. And I, I believe in this way, it's already pretty cool because you have a, a hero mountain and you have some rug terrain. So let's keep going. I believe the, the landscape is cool, but uh, what really give realism to, to the Gaia procedure terrain it's a node called erosion. So if you use erosion here, you can see like some erosion work. You can see like some rocks here. 
but if you use the erosion you can see like the mountain is is falling into the worst lands uh, the erosion has a bunch of parameters that you can change so if I increase the duration by the way some nodes you need to apply changes if I increase the duration you're gonna see like more erosion work on the mountains in the worst land if you want to apply always you just need to click here in auto apply start playing with the, with the erosion in just a few minutes you already have some landscapes but if you want to keep going, there is another node that I use frequently, which is the Fractal Terrace. And we can see that they create some terrace in the mountains. And we can play with that. That's like a different shaped kind of mountain. And there you have it. If you want to import just a high map, use this erosion node and you can export a high map to Unreal. Just need to go here and mark for export. I'm gonna show how to make a build, but I'm gonna create a few layer masks as well to go a little bit further. So I'm gonna create these, that environment uh, with just the erosion, just the high map. But if I want to use, for instance, ah, I want some rivers in this terrain. So we can go here and rivers. And there we go, we have some rivers. The rivers again have some, some configurations. Another node that is really useful for create layer masks will be the slope. This slope is a mask and tell to Unreal where is you have angle more than 43 degrees. You can blend like grass and rocks for instance and create a, a rocky mountain. Whereas the in the white will be the rocks and the black will be the with the grass for instance and you can generate really quick terrains like that inside of Unreal Engine you can keep going if you want to place some trees for instance procedurally inside of Unreal you can use this node arboreal and you can use this map to place procedurally trees inside of Unreal Engine if you want to also other thing that's really useful I don't want any trees over here, for instance. I can create another node called mask. And with this mask, go here. By the way, if you click in 2D, you're gonna have a top-down view. And I don't want any trees over here. If I do that, there's no trees here anymore. And you can use masks for pretty much every, any node that you want. And there you go guys, now to export to Unreal is pretty straightforward, I already put the erosion for export, and I'm gonna export everything, just need to do the same thing for the, the rivers and the slope and the arboreal, if you press F3, you can see the yellow dot here, that's marked for export, so I'm gonna export all the, the four maps, and to create the high maps and the layer mask, you just need to go here and build, I'm gonna change from TIFF to PNG. You can left normal build and the resolution need to change for there's Unreal here. And you need to use the 1009 because it's the maximum resolution that a free version with the watermark. And I can left everything as default if I want. Here we have the, the build destination. You just need to a path here and then click start building and there we go you're gonna have the layer mask is the high maps to use inside of unreal so let's go now to unreal then i can show you how to import the high maps to use a high map to create a landscape inside of unreal we need to go in and create a new level i'm gonna choose basic because i already have some lighting set up i'm gonna delete this shape and then change from selection mode to landscape mode here to import a high map you need to go and manage and then you need to go import from file and choose the high map file here uh, that's the erosion node that, that i create in gaia for this scene I need to click we just need to check some configuration so enable little layers is checked layer alpha map additive it's it's correct as well and here for scale, 
uh, right now if I I keep the scale 200 it will be a uh, two kilometers to two kilometers terrain and the height will be proportionally uh, with the high map but in this case I don't need a landscape that big but you can can go even higher if you want and make like 500 to 500 500 it will be a uh, five kilometers to five kilometers terrain but in this case I'm gonna create a, a much smaller much smaller landscape it would be gonna use the scale 20 20 20 it would be a 200 by 200 uh, terrain and then I'm gonna click import I change from selection mode again and press F and there we go you have the you have the terrain you can see the terrain is really down below it that sometimes can generate a few problems so I just gonna increase the height a little bit and for this video I'm gonna import just the high map and create the material in the slope mask in, inside of Unreal in the next video please let me know in the comments if you have any questions and if you have any tutorials or video that, that you believe will be useful for you just let me know so I can make a tutorial that's it guys and see you soon